So today's topic is uh, going to discuss about red black tree. But before discussing the red black tree, let me discuss about a few points uh, uh, about uh, binary search tree as well as uh, um, alien tree. I think you know those two trees. Uh, so what I am trying to convey to you is um, in binary search tree, you know the property. Uh, it should have uh, two uh, nodes. Uh, for every node, uh, that is, the, it is sub degree two. Uh, it has a left subtree as well as a right subtree. And uh, uh, what is that in the thing is, uh, if you take any element, say for example, uh, if you take uh, any uh, root node, any uh, leaf node or parent node or root node, whatever it may be, it should have a property that uh, whenever you want to insert an element, the root side left should be uh, lesser than that uh, value of the root and the root side right that is right side should be greater than the value and uh, uh, the arrangement of the data items is uh, viewed as a systematic arrangement is viewed as a systematic arrangement uh, that means it is following this kind of rule and uh, this kind of rule is applicable and it is very useful for uh, the one to who does the searching operation so if you want uh, uh, the searching operation Mm. to be effective uh, to be effective then uh, what you can do is instead of going for linear search you can go for uh, binary search so the binary search allow you to create a, a non-linear data structure in the form of a binary tree provided an additional property is whenever you want to add an element that element should be uh, compared with the root node if that is lesser you go for uh, left side if it is greater if it is uh, go for right side that is the systematic arrangement one should follow but what is the weakness with this binary history say for example if the list of elements given to you is in ascending order is in ascending order then the tree see the first element is one so one will be in the uh, say, say for example it is not like that uh, maybe the list of element uh, given is like this uh, what is that 10 12, 13, uh, 17, uh, 22, uh, 40, uh, 60, 55, uh, 68, uh, 72, like that with the given elements. So if you are asked to construct a binary history for the given data elements, what you can do? So first element, you take it and you place it as a root node. The next element is 12. So, B, so 12 is greater than 10. So you make it as a right side. 12. And another one, 13, it is make it as a right side. And another 70, it is also greater, you will be making this right side. Likewise, in every uh, right side, the data elements is placed. So if you could observe the um, style, it is observed that uh, the skewed nature is in the right side. Skewed nature is in the right side. Uh, and if you want to search any element, say for example, if I want to search 55 in this tree, where I go to uh, start the search process, I have to say start the search process from 10. Then I have to go to the right side. Then because left side no tree is available, so twelve I have to choose. Then uh, I have to go to the right side, uh, thirteen. And then likewise. So if you could see that the search process is similarly equal to linear search, even though we are saying that it is binary search tree and it is reduces the searching time of more than a fifty percentage when compared to the linear search, and it is very faster in terms of searching operation because of the property. But the uh, arrangement of the binary, the, even though we are saying that it is systematic arrangement, but the arrangement of the uh, items is completely dependent on the uh, list of items that is provided to construct the tree. So the way in which the list of items are provided for making the tree, that way uh, other things are uh, happened. Likewise, if the given element is of uh, decreasing order then you may have this kind of skewedness so this kind of skewedness is called left skewed that is uh, skewed means uh, uh, that is uh, targeted towards or uh, uh, biased towards one direction biased towards one direction. that is called the weakness so what is this weakness is the searching of is still higher so why means the height is more right see whenever i want to access the one the height is more uh, so that is why what you have to do is you have to make a balanced uh, tree, balanced binary search tree. So the balanced binary search tree is introduced by three scientists, Adelson, Welsky, Landis, A, B, L, T. I think you heard about this term in your undergraduate class. 
So this avian tree overcomes the weaknesses of uh, binary set tree. Uh, how it is uh, overcome the weaknesses? Uh, it is uh, difference between the uh, uh, left is subtree as well as the right subtree balance condition balance factor. So whenever you calculate the difference between the left subtree and right subtree, the balance factor should be zero, one, or minus one. So that is the uh, idea here. Uh, what is the thing here is uh, whenever you want to insert or delete a node, you need to think about the uh, height between LST and RST. In case if the height is more than these three values, so what you can do is you have to do some operations. So the operation is uh, left uh, is uh, termed in the way of a rotation. That is a single rotation, double rotation. When it comes to the case of deletion, it is R naught rotation, R one rotation, R minus one. So whenever an element is deleted or whenever an element is inserted, you may feel such kind of thing, such kind of thing. So that is the idea here. That is the operation uh, process that you need to do whenever you are going to consider AVL tree. So the main agenda of the AVL tree or the main motive behind the AVL tree is to reduce the searching time and make the tree as a high balance tree always. But what's the, uh, the effort of this? See, there are many points here, many examples here. I don't want to disturb this thing because your syllabus doesn't deal with the uh, AVL tree. So anyway, we will, I will go for, uh, what is that, um, uh, red, black, green, but what is the uh, herd headache or what is the overhead or what is the other uh, additional thing that we need to perform in the avial tree is uh, kind of rotations, rotations. So there is a thought process. What is the thought process? Is there any tree that we can construct without uh, the rotation, but is similar. But we have to keep the searching time as well as the other thing is possible because the insertion and deletion is uh, conducted. Uh, and if the tree balance factor is disturbed, then we need to do uh, uh, arrangements or adjustments. Adjustment that is the rotation arrangements or rotation adjustment. So that rotation arrangement that that rotation adjustment has to be uh, properly carried out without any headache or without any overhead. So that's what the idea of behind a red black tree. So let me go to the red black tree now. Uh, I hope you understand the idea here. Is this so? Should yes, sir. Uh, what yes, sir. I mean, see, binary search tree is meant for uh, constructing a nonlinear data structure, which makes the uh, tree to be effective uh, in terms of searching. But uh, what is the thing? What is the weakness with the binary search tree? The weakness with the binary search tree is. Uh, uh, Left is skewed and right skewed nature based on the data elements. Based on the data elements. But when you go for uh, so to avoid that thing, we go for uh, AVL tree. But AVL tree, uh, even though it does the uh, thing perfectly, but we need to do additional care. We need to do additional care for every insertion and deletion. For every insertion and deletion, we need to do in order to make the tree as a height balanced one. Because uh, it is not a tree that is automatically balanced to one, you need to do some kind of operation. So that operation will be uh, bring a little overhead whenever you construct a AVL tree. So you need to think about many cases, left side, left side, uh, right side, right side, uh, left, right, uh, right, left, uh, where the insertion has happened, uh, or which node insertion will uh, make the disturbances of the height factor uh, not within the value of 0, 1, minus 1, like that. You need to think about many things. Many things. So what is the thing one can go for is one can go for a red black tree. Since you are all uh, referring the material geeks for geeks for a MCQ type question, I have taken the material here. Uh, nothing wrong in it. You can view the material and you can go through the material. Uh, it is very easily and very simply written. Uh, what is this red black tree is? It is just, see, if you look at the keyword, it is a self-balancing tree. That's what uh, the idea that you need to remember. See, if you look at it, it is a self-balancing minus. So that means the tree uh, themselves uh, can balance uh, uh, the structure so that the searching operation is uh, uh, very effective. So in order to make that, uh, each node has been given with some color. So red color as well as black color. That's why you have a red black tree. Uh, why this is uh, red black uh, concept is there is because whenever uh, insertion or deletion operation is conducted, uh, in binary search tree, the height is not balanced, so you go for heavy tree. But here, with respect to the color, you can make the tree as uh, balanced always. 
whatever may be the operation that you are doing, especially the insertion and deletion operation. So see, these colors are used to ensure that the tree remains balanced during insertion and deletion. So that's what the idea that I want to inculcate to you. So accordingly, uh, what you have to uh, think about is the time, the time taken. So that is a time complexity analysis. That is, it is always uh, making the time of big O yeah, log N. So why before uh, understanding the uh, tree, you need to know the rules. See, what are the, what is the rule for a binary tree? Uh, every node should have two child nodes. That is treated as a left child as well as right child. That is called binary tree. What is binary tree rule? Every node should have a left child as well as right child. And if there is a property of the value. The root node value uh, is compared with the left child value that it is, for which it should be lesser. The root node value is compared to the right side value for which it should be greater. That is the left and right, left and right. But the rules that every red black tree uh, follows. What is the property of the AVL tree? So uh, it is also the property of the binary tree. It also possesses the property of the binary sense tree, provided it uh, has the additional property of the height. So the height factor for every node should be uh, the value uh, among 0, 1, minus 1. That's what the rules for every three, these three trees are concerned. Likewise, what is the uh, rule for uh, red black tree? So the red black tree rule is, I think it is visible now. So every node has a color. Every node should have a color, either it is in the red color or in the black color. The root tree is always black. The root node is always a black. And there are no two adjacent red nodes available. So no two red uh, adjacent uh, red nodes are adjacent uh, black nodes. Every path from your node to any of its descendant null node has the same number of black. So every path from your node, including root. So if you trace a path from a node, that means from a root node to uh, any other node along in the descendant direction, maybe it leads to a null node, it should have the same number of black nodes. So the number of black nodes along the path of the you node know, is so why red black tree? That's why it, I explained you the reason. Uh, in general, the BST tree, that is binary tree operation, is this thing, right? Uh, searching operation, finding the minimum element, finding the maximum element, insert and deletion operation. But uh, it, the, it will take uh, this much of amount of time. That is, it depends on uh, that. So if you go for a red black tree, they see the skewed binary tree, the, whatever the idea that I have explained just now. So why what? That's why we go for a red black tree, and it's the time is always big or log, log it. So if it is a logarithmic value, then the time is very lesser. So in even it is searching operation or insertion operation. So if you put n, then it is linearly increasing uh, for the with respect to the height. If you use a logarithmic value for the n value, then the time is lesser, right? So uh, it is also compared with the AVL tree. So with the AVL tree, you need uh, to do more operations, more operations for every instance and deletion. See, if the instance and deletions are less frequent, such is more frequent. So that the AVL tree should be right, right. So that's what. Uh, so if the instance and the deletion operation is more, then you need to do more rotations, and it is more overhead for the uh, person who is maintaining the AVL tree. So that's why you can go for a red flag. So these are the ideas that you need to do. Uh, you need to understand. The comparison between uh, binary search tree, AVL tree, and red black tree. Yes. How the balance is ensured? How the balance is ensured? So whenever you want to insert a node, so you need to check with the uh, three nodes. That is called a three chain, the three chain, chain three rule, or a, a chain of three nodes. So chain three rules are chain. So what is the rule? Why let's see. If you look at this tree, 30, 10, 20, 10. So these are all black nodes, and it is said that it is violates the property four. What is the property four? If you look at the property four. What is the property? Every path from the node to any of the user has the same number of black nodes. So this property is violated. So in order to overcome this property, you need to go for So likewise, this also. So in order to overcome, see, it has uh, modified like this. So uh, that is, it also maintaining the property of uh, binary history as well as the height is also balanced if it is going in the one direction. So this is minus property three. Why it is binary property three? If you go through the property three, there are two no two adjacent red nodes. So this is also violating the property. Uh, no two nodes are adjacent red nodes. This is also violating the property. So likewise, you whenever you want to consider tree, you, you just fix the color. So color is of your choice. So red color. So but the condition is root node should have a, a black color. So that's why the color. So it is just a coloring. You not to understand the tree. Uh, so based on the color, uh, you can may you can have uh, arrangements either in the left side or right side. Another interesting point that you need to remember about red black tree is see, black color nodes, black height of the red black tree is the same number of black nodes on the path from it. Yes, of course, right. So if you want to find out the uh, number of nodes in the block uh, in the red black tree, 
the number of black nodes that corresponds to the number of uh, the height of the tree, black tree, height of the black tree. And that height uh, should be uh, be greater than h by 2. That means uh, height is h is the overall height of the tree. And if you divide it by 2, then it is uh, part of the height. But the height of the black tree uh, should be greater than the h by 2. That means uh, 50, more than the 50% of the height of the uh, tree should be occupied by the black tree, black hole. So height of the black tree is always uh, with that. Um, in general, leaf nodes are nil or uh, black. Leaf nodes are uh, uh, what is that? It is a black tree of a red black tree. Black height is the number of that's what it is. Uh, what is that? Every red black tree with the node n has a height. So this is what this, this is now we have right? mm, Search operations, how the search operation is carried out. See, uh, if you are, you have to uh, take an uh, element, uh, search element, you have to give the tree and inside the tree you have to give the value and the tree uh, data is checked. Whether the tree data is containing value or the tree is null. If both the condition is, then what is that? So you are going to check the value and if the tree is a one node element and that one node contains the uh, element that is to be searched, that is val, then you have to return. You are going to search a tree and the tree is an empty tree. That is, uh, the tree is a null tree. The tree doesn't contain any element. Then also you have to return the tree. Return the tree. Otherwise, you have to check with the tree left, right, left, right, like that. That is the same property that is mentioned here, searching operation. But the wild thing is the time taken is lesser. Say, for example, this is a tree. Let me minimize this. So this is the tree. Example, this is a tree. See, no two consecutive uh, red. If there is a consecutive, then it's also value of the property. And there is no more uh, three nodes in the plot. So it is alternate. Well, left, right, left, right, right, right. right. So in this, if you want to search 11, then it is easier. So you can check 7, it is greater. So it goes here, it is lesser, it goes here, it is greater. Likewise, so it is searching is similar to, what is the thing is, the height is always, height is always balanced with respect to the tree. Mm, this is what you see, step 1, it is compared with the 7, then 18. So like this, step 4 and 8 is compared with the 11. So that is the uh, idea here, whenever you want to do it. So nothing uh, more specialized with respect to tree. So when I, if you go for insertion, you can uh, use that material in order to go through the insertion operation. I left you with this one for your self-understanding how the insertion is happening because I already illustrated whenever you do insertion, uh, the insertion will uh, disturb the uh, factor of the tree. Uh, what is the factor? Uh, balance factor of the tree. So in order to maintain the balance factor, you are going to do an operation. That operation is uh, height operation. Uh, what is the height operation? That is uh, rotation operation. Likewise, if you go for insertion, uh, deletion, uh, here also you have a uh, height imbalance situation may come. But because of the self-balancing property, the height imbalance situation may go. Uh, with respect to red black tree. So red black tree is simply a heavier tree or a simply a binary search tree with some coloring in nodes. And the coloring is uh, two colors, a red color and a black color. And the red color and black color, the choice is yours. Uh, you can use them, but you need to follow that uh, properties. So the four properties is very, very important when you take the case of the red black tree. What is that four property? This, the rules that every red black tree. So if, the, if this rule is followed, in a tree and that nodes are uh, colored with the red and the black uh, with the randomly selected nodes or other no every other nodes with uh, some scenarios or some uh, rules then that uh, tree is going to be a red black tree so that is the idea that you need to understand from here other way other than that what you can uh, what are the questions that may be asked is this kind of things uh, like uh, i the red black tree with the node see this is the most important gate question i the red black tree with the node n is this much uh, what is the color, uh, this property that may be explained, uh, every node has a color, uh, and what is the color of the root node, and what is the height of the, or what is the time complexity of the search operation, instance of deletion operation, like that. The stuff the question may come with respect to uh, red black tree. Uh, I think, I hope you understand the idea. Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. So that's the thing. So what is the thing is, based on the colors, the tree can by themselves make, make an arrangement. So there is no rotation, there is no other thing available. I left you the two points. What are the two points is? Uh, insertion and deletion operation. I left you for your self-study. Uh, 
uh, what is that insertion and deletion likewise so i have i have discussed with searching searching is doesn't have a much impact it is usually like so i have left you the two other operations that is insertion and deletion right so insertion deletion you need to do some coloring so how to do the coloring and how the insertion process going i left you so it is very easy self explanatory material only you can go through it and that can study the idea accordingly right okay class wind up panikalam appa okay sir let me stop the record first